He's corny. Oh, sticky. Ah. For reference, I said corny with a C, like the Corny Collins show, not he's something else. The live television Broadway musical spectacular of the year is finally here. NBC's Hairspray Live will be coming to a television set near you this Wednesday, 8, 7 central p.m. I don't just dress like this for fun, come on. I'm being festive. I'm trying to get in the mood. So today I'm going to give you the ultimate guide to Hairspray Live. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name's Catherine Steele and I put out a new theater related video on every theater Thursday. So if you haven't already Ready and you'd like to go ahead and hit subscribe. That way you get notified for all future videos and you join the Theater Thursday fam. I will be live snapping or tweeting during the performance, so if you want to follow me on social media, I am at Kath underscore Steel, Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. So Let's talk about Hairspray. Hairspray tells the story of Tracy Turnblad, an outspoken teenager who dreams of dancing on a local television show, despite not being the size two that the station wants her to be. She soon finds herself fighting an even bigger battle than she imagined, the fight for equality during the peak of the civil rights movement. So not only is this show insanely high energy and laugh out loud funny, it's rooted in history and touches on a lot of hard hitting subjects like racism and the corruption of the media. Hairspray is also based on the 1988 John Waters film of the same name, and when it first premiered on Broadway, it was nominated for a whopping 13 Tony Awards. Even crazier, it won 8 of them, including Best New Musical. NBC is no stranger to producing live musicals, in fact, this is their fourth holiday spectacular, but thank you, maestro. Hairspray Live is going to be different for a ton of reasons. And frankly, I think it's going to be their best musical yet. Couple of the reasons. They've cast a ton of Broadway talent. For the first time at NBC, they're going to have a live studio audience. Fox did it when they produced Grease Live last year, but prior to that, there had never been live audience members. I think this was the final touch that NBC needed to take their musical to the next level, so I think Hairspray is gonna kill it. The majority of the show is set to be filmed outside on Universal Studios' back Lot. But let's talk about what we're all most excited for, the celebrities. Hairspray Live boasts a huge celebrity cast of musical theater and TV actors. Broadway's Harvey Firestein and comedy legend Martin Short will play Tracy's parents. Additionally, Harvey Firestein originated the role of Edna Turnblad on Broadway, which earned him a Tony Award for Best Leading Actor. He even adapted the Hairspray script for the live broadcast, and he's no stranger to writing musical theater scripts. He was nominated for Best Book of a Musical for both Newsies and Kinky Boots, and won the Tony for La Caja Fall. We've got the wickedly talented, remember Adele Dazeem, that was a good time, Kristen Chenoweth. Kristen will be taking on the role of the vain, tyrannical TV station director Velma Von Tussel, aka the world's scariest stage mom. Disney Channel's Duff Cameron and Garrett Clayton will play Amber Von Tussel and Link Larkin, respectively. I think that this is a brilliant casting move, and here's why. Within in the context of Hairspray, Amber and Link are squeaky clean teen celebrities, like Disney Channel celebrities. By having the nicest kids in town being played by the real nicest kids in town, NBC is just reinforcing the statement that Hairspray is more relevant than ever. International pop sensation Ariana Grande will be finally making her long-awaited return to musical theater as Tracy's best friend Penny. Before her days of topping every billboard, Ariana Grande made her Broadway debut in Jason Robert Brown's third since then, they've kept in close touch, remember Jason's song that was written by Jason Robert Brown, Musical Theatre Connection, and Ariana's been very vocal about her desire to return to her Broadway roots. We all get to watch it, and I'm excited to see how she'll do. Academy Award winner Jennifer Hudson will be taking on the role of Motormouth Maybell. In fact, they even added in an extra song for her, which was written just for the movie musical, but they've decided to add to the live broadcast. The fan favorite characters of Seaweed and his sister Mr. Little Inez will be taken on by Broadway veterans. Hamilton's Ephraim Sykes and Lion King's Shahadi Wright Joseph. Fun fact, she holds the record for being the youngest young Nala on Broadway. Like, imagine being that tiny and that talented. Derek Huff will be playing the role of Corny Collins, the TV personality behind a wildly popular dance show. So in summary, Derek Huff will be playing the role of Derek Huff. 
I think he's gonna be perfect. And rounding out the cast is talented newcomer Maddie Balio. Besides not having any pro or Broadway credits, Maddie Balio is still a seasoned musical theater performer and singer. She may only be a sophomore in college, but she's performed to sold out houses at the Lincoln Center, the Kennedy Center, and Carnegie Hall. We've got a couple more celebrity cameos, including Sean Hayes as Mr. Pinky, Andrea Martin as Prudy Pingleton, and Rosie O'Donnell as the gym teacher. A little fun fact that I absolutely love, all three of the original Broadway Dynamites will be reprising their role. Additionally, Marissa Jarrett Winokur and Ricky Lake, the two original Tracy Turnblads from the 1988 film and the Broadway production, will be making cameos in the show. Originally, their cameos were kept top secret, but some sources say that they'll be playing Mr. Pinky's assistants in the dress shop. There are also some exciting additional changes that they'll be making for the broadcast. They'll be removing the song Big Doll House that originally started the top of Act 2, which kind of mirrors what the movie did. They also got rid of that song. But instead, we're going to get a couple of songs from the movie, including Lady's Choice, which, spoiler alert, is like one of the best songs in Hairspray. It's not Link's song, it's actually going to be sung by Courtney Collins, which I'm okay with too. So there you go, the ultimate guide to NBC's Hairspray Live. Catch it this Wednesday, December 7th at 8, 7 central p.m. I'll be watching, check out my Snapchat and if you want my commentary. Enjoy the broadcast and I will see you guys on Theater Thursday. Bye! Run!